that is um, David Alvarez Castillo. Uh, greetings, everybody. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, we hear and see you. Okay. Uh, let me share my screen before before everything. So. Um, Okay. Can you see my, my presentation? Everything is fine. Okay, let me go on then. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizers for the opportunity to present here um, our collaboration work. Um, and I would like also to thank all the speakers today for the nice presentations. And, and I will um, sort of uh, take advantage of, of uh, all, all the material already covered to to skip um, parts of uh, that are not needed to be repeated in my presentation. So I, I will start with a brief introduction to the neutron star matter equation of state and, and the relation of uh, neutron star matter in the QCD phase diagram and the corresponding compact star properties. Then I will discuss uh, again uh, in detail, uh, I mean a bit more in detail, the mass twins uh, scenario and the, the possibility of probing the confined quark matter in, in the course of compact stars. Um, then I will uh, outline some of the uh, latest results from multi-Jessenmer multi multi ast astronomy uh, to, that, that could uh, prove, um, in fact, the existence of the mass twin hypothesis. And finally, I will go on with some uh, studies based on Bayesian analysis that have served for parameter estimation of our models and also for a statistical um, inference. Okay, so as we have mentioned in this, has been mentioned in this talk, um, and the, the, the QCD diagram features a region of the confined quark matter. And if the transition from, from the hadronic uh, side um, goes as a first order, then, then we expect something like a critical endpoint uh, up in the, in the higher temperature uh, region because uh, it's been studied uh, from uh, lattice and, and also he heavy on collisions that, that th this is rather a, a crossover on, the, on that high temperature, low density region. So as we have here, there are many models for nuclear matter for microscopic calculations, uh, but unfortunately um, it's difficult to, to, to rely on empirical data at very high density. So there's a lot of discrepancy depending on the assumptions on, on the model. And uh, usually these components like the uh, binding energy of neutron matter and, and, and the binding energy of symmetric matter are important for computing the equation of state of neutron stars. Um, there has been an attempt of constraining the stiffness of, of dense matter uh, by heavy ion collisions, and this has brought some sort of um, sort of, of ref, sort of reference to trying to understand uh, how soft or how stiff is, you know, is this um, uh, dense matter and uh, and this, well, this has a clear impact on the maximum mass of compact stars. So it is quite relevant for our discussions of, of astrophysics. Um, so basically the, the, the T of B mass that, that is uh, obtained by integrating the, 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 the T of B equations um, is an equation of state dependent. And, uh, and, and this is, the, the, this is uh, precisely uh, what is interesting for, uh, from microscopic uh, approaches, points of view. So we know that the neutron stars are, are massive, that they uh, reach uh, to solar masses. So among the many possibilities, uh, it is clear that the question of state cannot be extremely soft and, uh, uh, and, and uh, that, that um, se several issues appear when these uh, massive neutron stars were Observe like like uh, th uh, like the hyperon puzzle, like how hyperons can can exist in the core of, of neutron stars if 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 the if 
if the if the interaction is not repulsive enough to to reach to solar masses and so on but as i said i want to discuss the uh, mass twins scheme and for this i will refer to this work of alfor han and prakash where they have studies um, uh, studied an equation with a fixed equation of state a transition uh, to, to to constant speed of sound uh, quark matter and, and they have varied the parameters in such a way that the latent heat this delta epsilon here um, has been varied and depending on, on on the values of these parameters then they reach different uh, topologies in the mass reuse relation with, with a low mass with low values of this delta epsilon parameter um, masquerading into 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 hadronic stars so no no no, no clear effect at least from this mass reuse relation uh, diagrams but as, as this delta epsilon has been increased then, then you can see that the, the mass reuse relation develops a kink and, and eventually a discontinuity on, on, on a separate branch the so-called tier branch um, one way to build uh, models uh, for 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 twin stars that would have the same mass uh, about, uh, about the same mass about different uh, radius is to use uh, a piece wise polytrope equation of state here i present the scheme by Hebler uh, at all presented in the paper in 2013 and the, the model is very simple the, the different regions are, are parameterized with a with a polytropic index so a years back we decided to study high mass twins because the possibility of, of having the confined quark matter um, um, appeared to be more more uh, feasible at the highest densities so we follow this scheme to, to create uh, uh, twin stars uh, uh, high mass twin stars and we introduce uh, four polytropes in the higher densities and with this we could we call a study this kind of sets and it was a sort of uh, an interesting uh, work at that time because we could fulfill this these constraints of, of um, that were the, the determined by by in, in the work of Kevlar. Uh, so so um, as a next step, I will uh, just uh, discuss this classification that was introduced here uh, in this uh, work by uh, Saki and, and Schaffner Billig, where they decided to to categorize the the mass twins uh, depending on the on the on the on the values of the of the transition pressure uh, and of course uh, this is related to the to the onset of the or to the to the onset of of, uh, of the transition in the mass radius relation so for instance in in the category one we have the onset at very high high uh, values and also high higher densities uh, in, and in in category um, uh, two we keep the, the 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 same the same onset is is sort of of uh, fixed but then then the third branch uh, has a, a lower maximum and, and the same for category three and four in a, in a similar way but, but with the with lower onsets so this will be interesting because i would like to discuss the, the um, or to compare the possibility of high mass twins versus low mass twins um, and this, of course, in, in contrast with the other possibility of, of uh, a, a different or alternative um, um, QCD phase diagram that, for instance, could, could uh, feature uh, two critical endpoints, uh, where one of the critical endpoints will go down to the low density, low temperature uh, region. And if that's the case, we will expect a neutron stars to have a, a transition. Um, uh, that will be rather a, a mixed phase or or, or some sort of uh, uh, pasta phases structures. So for some references on approaches that were already mentioned today, uh, you, I leave here these this, this references. Um, of course, nowadays we have all this uh, new information from from the mergers of of, of neutron stars and in general the multi messenger astronomy data and uh, on the light of, of the event GW170817 
there has been reported some distribution of masses associated with some tidal deformabilities to, for, for the, for the uh, components of, of the merger. And um, in, in, this, uh, in this paper of two also report the values of some tidal deformabilities for a typical hadronic equations of a state. And uh, it seems that, uh, that uh, rather softer equations of state are the ones that are uh, favored because they lie on the higher, than, uh, higher probability regions in, in contrast to very, very stiff uh, uh, hadronic equation of state. Uh, but, but if we consider then uh, equations of state with Find out that if the if the transition is um, the, the the transition uh, is such that the onset mass is around the values of the of the two components, then the situation may change and, and these these branches of of uh, hybrid stars, uh, neutron stars, or or even for other models models uh, hybrid star hybrid star, they could go down into into the regions of higher probabilities, and, and they sort will sort of of masquerade in the, this diagram with with uh, with um, softer uh, pure hadronic equations of state, or in, in other words, they, are, they can be placed on equal on equal footing. Another interesting result or or, or um, uh, estimation is that uh, uh, the maximum mass of of compact stars, uh, uh, the TU, the TU mass uh, can be constrained following some reasoning on the evolution of the of the mergers and uh, towards a, a, a collapse into a black hole, uh, avoiding a, a prompt uh, a collapse uh, and following one of these trajectories in, in these two diagrams. Uh, the authors in this paper have come with some estimate for the, for the lower boundary on, on the maximum TOV mass of neutron stars. So, this, this is very interesting because if one considers all these uh, new constraints, uh, there, there's, there it is getting uh, tighter for the question of state uh, possibilities. So in this, in, this, um, in this respect, we decided to ask uh, ourselves the question if, if GW1708-17 was uh, in fact a canonical neutron star merger or, or if uh, for instance, uh, if it could have been like a, a like a, <clears throat> a tuning star or configuration or 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 that the question of state had a, a strong first order phase transition and for that we we basically built a different um, a hybrid equation of star uh, hybrid uh, equations of state that will have the, the uh, um, a quark uh, mo that are based on a quark model of uh, of the so-called non-local NGL, together with the stiff um, equation of state, a hadronic equation of state, like is it two with excluded volume corrections? Uh, and what you see here is, is the result of, of these calculations. Um, we, we basically have have different onsets, and um, moreover, we decided also to to include the effect of the past phases in the way that has already been been discussed here, with some effective um, uh, smoothing of the of the of the transition, as you can see here in this in this region, where where the, the plateau corresponds to the pure Maxwell construction case, and, and this this delta p is, is a parameter that smoothens the transition. And as it was already mentioned, th there's like a sort of a limit uh, below uh, six percent of, of this parameter that that where the the, the, the twin configurations remain. That's uh, that the third branch keeps being disconnected from the second one. Oh, so um, among the many possibilities, one of the interesting ones is, is having the, 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 the mass onset for the phase transition around the, the masses of the, of the two components of GW170817. And uh, when, when the one considers uh, the parameter in such a way that the question of states uh, uh, it describes this this relation of lambda as a function of mass. Then it's possible to choose the, the components of the of the primary mass and the second mass in, in different ways. So, for instance, if one considers uh, that that the two the two that the two 
components lie on the hadronic side, then, then, then we will end up with this possibility here, where the, where the first two refer, refers to the, to the secondary mass and the second uh, refers to the second branch. Um, in, in the next case, we can consider uh, again uh, uh, the secondary mass lying on the on the second branch, but the primary mass uh, lying on on that on the third branch. So so this will be three and two. Uh, other possibility is that both of them lie on the on the third branch. So this will be this three and three, and uh, and the other possibility is that 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 the, the the secondary mass is on the on the second branch and the prime primary mass on the third branch. So this will be two and three. And uh, what we see is that we have a, 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 a more interesting uh, diagram in the in this lambda one lambda two plot where we have different branches and, and this uh, hopefully um, uh, could be identified in 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 different in, in new of, in new events in new detections of of gravitational uh, waves from mergers of neutron stars. Um, so what is interesting is to discuss the possibility of having these high mass twins as, as we originally were, were um, uh, I put it uh, uh, con uh, as, as a conjecture that we had of, of the high mass twins, but also low, low mass twins are, are interesting, especially because we have now more constraints. And, uh, and, and for this, we had, we had to evaluate in such a way uh, in a certain way or a statistical way, which uh, which out of these two possibilities could be more feasible. Um, that that's um, why we set up this Bayesian uh, analysis with these equations of state that that I already mentioned from from the uh, DD two excluded volume together with the non-local NGL and. Um, and by varying all these onset values and also including some pasta parameters, we could look at, at, at how the, the, the probabilities uh, will change and, and, and which, which parameters were favoring in, in our model. Um, in particular, something that we uh, consider as, as a next step was to consider a, that, that, that to imagine a fictitious measurement of, of a of a neutron star, like, like um, with, with a lower uh, radii, and, if, uh, and of course consider different onsets. We consider 1.8, 1.6, 1.4, and we found that indeed the lower onset was favored as, as the as the probabilities here here show. So uh, the one here that has this peak is, is the one for 1 1.4 uh, solar mass onset. So. So uh, according to this analysis, this this is one this one possibility is preferred. Um, so I would also like to um, draw your attention to this uh, recent analysis where, where the authors uh, varied the space of parameters for these two stars and and they found uh, some dependence on the maximum mass on the onset of 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 of. of of, of the, the confinement, uh, but, but that, by the way, is nothing new. It was already uh, presented by, by Schaffner Willig in this classification paper. But what I really find interesting is that they consider um, equations of a state that are re rather realistic, um, and, and they find that that uh, in the case of, of uh, pure hadronic equations of a state, and also the ones with with uh, hyperons. That fulfill the modern constraints both both from, both from experiments and, and astrophysics uh, cannot reach um, certain regions of that the hybrid stars could. For instance, uh, if you see this this green region, this could be completely covered by hybrid stars as, as for the for the hadronic and and, and hyperonic equation state that they could not go uh, uh, down here. That means that um, if if a star is, is measured with a uh, if, if a two solar mass star is measured with less than 12 kilometers, that could be an indication that this has to be a hybrid star, a hybrid star of, of some possibility. Um, yeah, and, and what you see here, in case you, you would like to know why this equation goes, goes down here, that's actually APR that uh, unfortunately is an outdated equation of state because it doesn't uh, include the, the softening of the hyperons at higher densities. 
So, so uh, these disorders should be preferred over, over the, the old APR. Well, then I would like to come to some conclusions. Um, well, as, as you have uh, heard, uh, because um, there's a possibility of, of measuring the, this uh, pulsar, uh, the most massive pulsar that is uh, reported in the paper by Cromarty and collaborators. Uh, this measurement uh, should come uh, anytime soon. So if it is, uh, if the measurement of the radius is, than to, is less than 12 kilometers, then that would be a strong indication that the, uh, there's a quark matter core in, in, in neutron stars. Um, also, interestingly, will be to measure a uh, radius on, uh, on stars or about one or one, two points solar masses that could probe the stiffness of nuclear matter that would correspond to one or two times saturation density according to, to the models presented here. And this also will probe the low mass uh, twins hypothesis. And I also uh, shown that the, the Bayesian analysis, as, as we set it up in, under that considerations, favors low mass twins over the, the so-called high mass twins. Um, then, then, then as a perspective, uh, it could be interesting to look for detections of signals from dynamical scenarios like transitional evolution from a second to third family, for instance, by releasing energy or, 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 uh, or having some other type of, of in, imprint. And this could be indeed a smoking gun for the mass twins. Um, and of course, I just would like to stress that the existence or the non-existence of compact star twins does not rule out the possibility of a critical endpoint in the in the QCD phase diagram. Uh, but, but the opposite, if it is if, if it is uh, present, then then we can be more uh, certain about about this uh, about this uh, transition. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, <clears throat> thank you very much, David. So we have now time for uh, questions. I don't see raised hands. Yeah. Uh, so um, yes, yeah, so I have a question. Uh, could you please go go back into the plot of the tidal deformability? Um, Yes, exactly this one. Yeah. Uh, so um, when I look at the results, so within this model, um, I think the three three case uh, would be the best one to describe uh, the tidal deformabilities, uh, which would mean that um, in this model you would claim it is more likely that you have a hybrid star hybrid star merger. Is this right? Yes, actually, this this um, this uh, branch here that, that falls um, will correspond to, let's see, exactly will, will correspond to hybrid hybrid star, mm -hmm. um, and then there's also this order of the two three. Um, however, I don't know um, I don't know how, how this has to be reported from the from the observ from future observations, because it lies on the like on the. On, on the forbidden area or in the on the empty area so far here. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. some so, so we we have also uh, calculated uh, such a kind of thing and and we um, also find out within our hadronic model using such a kind of phase transition that it was also more likely that uh, the first gravitational wave event was a hybrid star hybrid star merger like you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, th thank you for, for the remark. Yeah, the paper should be mentioned here also on this slide. Mm -hmm. Are there further questions? Please speak up. I don't see raised hands. So, to summarize, you um, would claim there is a high probability that there is an early onset of um, hybrid stars, which make a hybrid star equation of state look uh, very similar to a soft equation of state like APR or SLY4, which otherwise uh, observers uh, favor very much. Mm -hmm. uh, gravitational yeah. observation. In, the, in, this, uh, in this plot, APR lies uh, somehow 
is, is way softer than, than the others. For instance, this is blue is, is a very stiff and it's even out of the of the any probability region. So it has to be the hybrid stars, uh, let's say, um, are compatible with this with this uh, observation. Yeah, there was another paper where you even were uh, had a uh, tidal deformability which was lower than APR. Okay, good. Then uh, let's not extend this uh, too much because we are almost entering now the one hour discussion session and let's thank uh, David Alvarez for his nice presentation. <laughs>